Rusty, the weeks are flying by. It's been a busy week for the Bloodstock team. Yeah, really busy week. We're second uh, full week in, so I covered a bit of territory this week. Um, went to areas such as Camden, southwest of Sydney, a couple of calls around Hawkesbury and a bit north of there, Lower Hunter, uh, doing a quick day trip up to Denman tomorrow, do a few calls up there, and the boys find themselves, I think, at Bega, south coast at the moment, so been a long trip for them. Now, unfortunately, the breeze-ups were cancelled on the Tuesday there down in Cranbourne. Yeah, disappointing. Melbourne team had put a, a lot of work into that. Um, they have been rescheduled, however. They're now on Monday, starting at 11.30 at Cranbourne there. Uh, but the New South Wales uh, breeze-ups are available online at the moment. And now there's been a lot of attention on the first season size with the two-year-old trial study. Exciting time of year. They're uh, starting, the youngsters are starting to hit their straps. Uh, Fox Wedge won a trial the other day. Uh, chain shot, Tony McAvoy trains him. Only a three horse trial, but uh, won really impressively. Uh, there was a two year old race over in New Zealand, won by an Echoes of Heaven. Um, we've actually got an Echoes of Heaven in our Breeze Up sale coming up. Adam Cook, who put through Odyssey Moon, um, has got him. He was bought out of the Classics Hour. Really nice sort of horse, and he breezed well. Uh, and up in Queensland, there was a Love Conquers All. He's, of course, the son of Mossman. Um, trained by Ben Curry, won quite impressively. I think a two-and-a-half length winner in a trial up there. So, Moving to Saturday, we have uh, a couple of Group 1 races. Yeah, first Group 1 for the season here in Sydney, the Golden Rose. Uh, looks to be a good contest. Of course, uh, Speak Fondly is off the quick day backup. Uh, the homebred for Guri. I think she'll be tough to beat, but faces two very good colts in Exosphere and... Press statement, of course. Uh, of course, Exosphere beat him in the run to the Rose. Um, press statement will take a lot of improvement out of that, I think, and a lot of other nice horses, Sebring Sun in the race as well, so it'll be a really good contest. Cool. Now moving to Flemington with the Maccabi Diva Stakes. Yes, uh, the Maccabi, a couple of nice horses resuming. Of course, Boban uh, running again. There's Weary, um, Bulk, Stock and Barrel, of mm -hmm. course, purchased by Anthony Mithen and the Rosemont team last year. Uh, won a group one and up here in Sydney in the resuming, so no doubt they'll be expecting a forward showing. And Faulkner uh, is an English graduate hoping to go one better from last year. And what's the week ahead look like? Uh, the week ahead, uh, next week, uh, doing a bit of a run up to Taree, then across to Murundi. Uh, a couple of the other guys are going up around sort of Tamworth, Inverell area up there. And um, I think Darcy's going out to Corrinbeen as well. Always a good trip to George Altamonte's uh, property out there. So we're getting stuck in. Got a few weeks to go after that to get through them all, but we're making good progress.